Ken, in the last few years, Sigma Tau has been in the forefront of developing some new L-carnitine molecules. Uh, you refer to them as amino carnitine. That's right. Uh, could you explain? Tell us a little bit about that, and particularly the one that uh, is called acetyl L-carnitine arginate. Sure. Well, uh, actually, for those that are interested in getting more uh, information immediately, they can go up to the websites uh, devoted to them, www.aminocarnitines.com or www.modernarteries.com. But essentially, this is the next stage of carnitine development. I mean, this is a renovation of the molecule. What we found is, is that carnitine itself is manufactured from amino acids, such as lysine and methionine. Part of our research has been devoted to experimenting with, with carnitine actually bonded molecularly to, to a certain amino acids. And the concept would be that to mix them together would seem to be beneficial, but there's no way of assuring that there would be a uniform mix when it goes from the drum into the capsule or tablet, into the bottle, into the person. And so what we did was we molecularly bonded carnitine with specific amino acids based on what the literature shows might prove to be beneficial from a metabolic standpoint. A couple of them that we've done, we call these, these groups the amino carnitines because they're carnitines that are structurally bonded to amino acid. The benefit is, is that each molecule of, of any, either of any of the amino carnitines gives a specific amount of amino acid as well as a specific amount of a particular form of carnitine, which allows for regeneration of carnitine to occur and also to get that effect, kind of like um, uh, uniform metering. And so uh, the, the principal ones are carnitine arginate or arginocarn, it's a mix of acetyl carnitine and arginine. Now, arginine has been shown to have properties that support nerve function. And uh, also in, in male sexual health, arginine is very important. And, and acetyl carnitine, too, is, is important in nerve functioning and male sexual health. So there's a very strong component there. We have some uh, research interventions that are undergoing now that are... Uh, looking at, at arginocarn for, for uh, how insulin uptake is uh, uh, affected from a dietary standpoint, and also another intervention that we're getting underway for nerve function uh, for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Not as a treatment, but just as a dietary assist, see if, if there's any uh, effect from a dietary standpoint. As you were talking specifically about the amino carnitine, that is the uh, acetyl L-carnitine uh, arginate, um, I think it's important that you mentioned earlier that this is a new molecule, that you're not just mixing these two things together, but in fact you've created a new molecule in the process of doing this. Exactly right. One of the, one of the challenges of, of getting vitamins into the, into the capsule or tablet is to make sure that you have good mixing in between. So in other words, if you have two separate ingredients, it's possible to get them into the tablet so that each tablet has the same exact amount, but it's much more predictable, much more, much more, much simpler if you have a bonded, bonded molecule. And so what we've actually done is bonded the amino acid to the carnitine. This allows us not only to assure that there is a more stricter metering of the product as it ent enters the, the biochemical uh, pathways, but that also allows for us to plan our research protocols more effectively because we know that we don't have to deal with problems where there isn't the right adequate mix, that the mix is off or anything, that there is con what we call content uniformity in the, in the, in the product, which allows for more uh, uh, a stricter adherence to research protocols. So it's been uh, very exciting, and now we're into our fourth year, and it's now a uh, it's slowly taking over the category for, for acetyl carnitine. Arginyl carn is becoming the next version of, um, of, acetyl, of, uh, of uh, acetyl carnitine of choice in the marketplace. And Sigmatel holds patents on the, on the process? Yes, we have patents on it that uh, uh, the product is, uh, and this is important because we need to assure that we have GMPs. The product, especially when it was new, well, it's no longer new, it's, they've been out now four years, but that um, we, have, we have a very strict process for, 
pharmaceutical quality batch production, and that it's very important that we maintain those standards. Okay, thank you, Ken.